The origins of Greek drama go back to competitions held as part of the festivities celebrating the god Dionysus, patron god of the Greek stage and god of wine. There were three genres of drama, tragedy, comedy and the satire play. It is worth noting, however, that Greek tragedies always ended happily, so as to keep audiences entertained. In the resurgence of Greek tragedy in the Renaissance, monarchs rather than myths were honoured. This was perhaps because kings were to the Elizabethans as gods were to the Greeks. This new dramatic form was known as Renaissance tragedy, of which William Shakespeare was a well-known pioneer. Renaissance tragedy was formed from Greek tragedy being fused with Elizabethan drama, often resulting in a more morbid ending. Which is evident in King Lear. Shakespeare borrowed the violent and bloody plots from the Greek dramatist Seneca. With resounding rhetorical speeches, the frequent use of ghosts and sometimes the five-act structure. For example, some of these techniques have been applied in Act 3, Scene 7, where Gloucester's eyes are plucked out of their sockets. Lest it see more, prevent it. Out, well jelly. King Lear is not also without reference to the gods. A belief in the power of divine justice runs throughout the play. Lear strengthens his early displays of authority and paternal cursing by appealing to pagan deities. He wears by the sacred radiance of the sun the mysteries of Hecate and the night, Apollo and Jupiter. Regan appeals to the blessed gods when Leah turns his anger on her. Leah himself begs for help from the heavens. If you do love old men, send down and take my part, and acknowledges the authority of high judging Jove. Attitudes towards gods seesaw in the play. Sometimes characters see them as kind and mighty, at other times arbitrary, indifferent and cruel. Albany finds them just, you are above, you justices. Gloucester thinks of them spitefully unjust. As flies to wanton boys are we to the gods. They kill us for their sport. Then revises his opinion, you ever gentle gods. To Cordelia, the gods are benevolent. Oh, you kind gods. With his brother dying and his sightless father dead, Edgar acknowledges a divine justice that watches over and judges all human actions. The gods are just, and of our pleasant vices, make instruments to plague us.